Juve Juicy, right? If you could like just right. split himself into two, you know, you get the ISO, you get the Yoru. Perhaps this is one of those situations where they're taking a page off of, of DSG's books and applying it to themselves. But they're starting on the defenders, so they need to go out there, they need to get the information that they have. Of course, you do have Lenny to scout out early, but at least for Kenji, he doesn't really have that kind of power that he really needs to. Divine and Temps, sorry, Zan and Temps. They, they have to be the ones to open it up. So you can already see down in A-Long, they're contesting. Iso's going to be hold down in Garage instead. Markel, the one to save the day in the last map, is making waves, getting the first blood kill, opening up into C. But there we have Kenji, trying to, to lock down the site to get away with other two teammates. Whoa. Oh, but in the smoke, unable to try to make a breakthrough. Tams is going to find two and Divine. Spike one down. more spike drops down in the middle of no man's land. But you know where the last two remaining players are going to be coming from? The Doctor. Goes in Hannah. Why is it for Kenji? That is questionable. And the Doctor will absolutely punish those kinds of mistakes. Lays getting a little bit over eager. Perhaps wanting to swing onto the Doctor, catch him off guard. But the swing was not in tandem. The Doctor picks up both kills. Beautifully done. Mm -hmm. and this is such an interesting matchup. They have so many aggressive agents on both sides. This does not look like a Haven game at all. Yeah, it's very interesting to see. I think the early call out here is from Zan. That he got the initial contact. Realizes there's more than one here. Try to call out that they're, they're pushing an aggression up to the C here. But doesn't realize that they made a little bit of a detour with two other members and a little bit of a wraparound situation. Uh, and this time it's going to be a B attacking site. But it's a one for one. Make that one more down. Ardia with the better gunfire here. It's going to find multiple members. Of Lays. Yeah, Divine, he's got a shorty. So he just needs to play close and hope that someone like tries to sneak into garage because uh, Doctor's just gotta hold down that angle, right? And Lays, they just wanna die to the spike. If anything, maybe find it. one kill would be nice, but yeah, RDA should be able to secure this one without any issue. Slow and steady. Look at the way the laser is actually pushing onto the issue here. They do manage to find one each. Very nicely done to the angles, but Divine is going to be taken down by Pixie with the Bulldog. But the rest of RDA, they have better firepower. It's going to find the other two. There you have it. Oh, Zero two. And yeah, they bring away the Guardian as well, the Bulldog. So the best weapons in that round, they carried it forward. RDA. Now they have a chance to buy a couple more rifles perhaps into this round or just offer a bit more of a reserved bonus. Looks like that's going to be the case. Lays now. Now's the chance to strike back. Now's the chance to string a couple of great rounds together. On this defending side, let's see what they have in tow, right? I mean, you got the, the Yoru together with the ISO. That's what DSG has brought in to this map of Haven. Yeah. Trying to make a breakthrough up to C long, and now A is the point of contention here. Fixie gets taken down to a really low HP. On the other end, though, hasn't really quite done any damage to the members of Lays. Then again, they at least bought some information. And we're making a re rotate out here, knowing that C has been closed off by the smoke earlier. Lenny is still pushing on the attack. Deploying drone. Down to 46 HP. Our drone is going to be utilized, trying to get the information. And this caused a beeline shift from RDA. Playing so instead, so much respect given out. Might make a U turn back into C. Yeah, and that's going to be the call. C split on the cards. Mark L creeping into garage. The trip is there, though. So advanced information. And Lay's already leading over towards this position. Shift broken. Into the side they go. What util does Lays have to start and stifle this execute? Oh, the smoke! Just run straight in. Zen with a huge kill right there. Lenny picking up one as well. They don't have any access to the side. Oh, a bit of a whiff spray coming in. Sube with two kills right there. Doctor gets scanned out though. He's the last man standing. With barely any time left on the clock. Oh, he Good can refine so. Oh, you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. The Doctor almost makes things very scary for Lays, but still round win in their favor, but a a lot of damage done, to be fair. Credit to RDA. That was a very solid bonus. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, 
I think a great job coming in from Laze as well, just locking down the initial push. Stalled them out in the very beginning, uh, getting the smoke out on C-Long. Deterred them all the way back to A. Lenny, of, of course, kudos to him for being the one that held down the fortress up in A side as well. Here we go. And then suddenly, it's just a bit of a scramble for RDA to make a decision to push on for a site. The Siri together with the Undercuts, trying to find someone that's vulnerable, but... Okay, not an insta-kill, but still, a nice pick onto Jansen. That is a reach out of the round, that's your flashes out. You don't have a lot of, well, you have no initiated utility, except for Subei's recon dart, as well as the drone. Let's see. Yeah. Our drone gets sent in, but there's two other members of Blaze, and we're at the wow. brink of the entrance. Zan's the one's gonna be taken down all the way up in B side. Lenny's going to find <laughs> Zoo though off of this contact play. Nicely done. And that's gonna deter RD a little bit. I think the, they also realize it's gonna be a trap wire in the middle of garage. That's gonna be taken down. Indication for Lenny here that they're still up in garage. Yeah, but the only two players on RDA's side still standing. Lays are more than comfortable you know, playing within the sites. Because at the end of the day, RDA need to get in and with the man disadvantage, they can just hold these angles, go for trades. Ooh, fix seed with a nice peek right there. I will take down Lenny. But they still need to get into the seaside. And now that they know he's coming in from Garage, it's gonna be a rough crossfire they have to deal with. Kenji swings out wide, beautiful taps onto his head. Oh, now it's just the Doctor left alone, uses the Neuro Theft. Doctor just gotta stick the spike plan, that is ambitious. Considering that the uh, Neuro Theft was gonna be picking his position, but still... At least two players can stand for Lay's second round on the board. Got a situation of deja vu. Doctor last man standing, trying to hit onto C, but... Yeah. <laughs> just couldn't put it down at time. He even has the ultimate available, but can't exactly utilize it without his teammates here. Uh, it's not the best situation having Doctor just survive all the way to the very end because you know you have more you have more uh, contacts you can play off if uh, Doctor just continues on living after the dead right you know you have the smokes that you can still put on if you really need to but that is the situation the reality that we're living in and the next reality it is going to be is RDA doesn't have the guns here going to play with pistols and trying to go for a C long fight arguably though the one that really needs a lot more of that position Probably with those sheriffs as well. But Fixie's gonna be taken down by Thames nonetheless with that outlaw. Yeah, and that's the entirety of A give it over to the laser side. RDA don't like that though. They wanna push back. Oh! They catch him off guard. And just the instant teleport away, the flash and the updraft, but he's gone out of there. And calling for a bit of reinforcements, the smoke onto the side. Thames under pressure now, stunned up, a counter flash. He wants to get out of harm's way, pops the here. Dimensional Drift, actually, and he's going into the, the line of danger, into the site, the Paranoia in, they're picking out their positions, throwing a Flash in, back into the site, a Classic in hand, but it's not gonna be enough. A drop down from Heaven, Lenny and Zen both drop down, find those frags. It's a two versus two on the site, though. Oh. Doctor's not yet, yet, but now he might just be in the back of the site, an ultimate essentially wasted, and lays again with two players standing, they convert yet another round. Oh man, I mean, initial pickoff and then a scrappy way of entering A site. And it's just back and forth, but it's a kudos to Lace as well. Pushing on to the aggression when they know that RDA is caught in the midst of their activities. Now with that, uh, Zan here does have his kill contract and he gets it on to the valuable members, right? You know, anyone, just Subei or Jansen, even Doctor. That, that could award them so much in this case and keep the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Lay's already got three rounds under the belt in succession. Can they keep the fourth one going or can RDA bring this back? No peeking. Fast A push looks like it. Stun off of the A line. The recon dart will expose Lenny's position as well. Has to back off instantly. But in the meantime, the mid, mid crunch coming in. Fixie's in a world of hurt. He's stuck oh, in this corner. Oh, oh, oh. No else to go. Shoot oh. As well, and Zen will find that frag, and that's their cue to accelerate into this A side. Lenny's just gonna save his dart for the retake, though, letting them have that spike plan. You got the kill contract as well. And oh, I oh, it's the spike. No, he picks up the guy with the spike, takes down Jensen, oh, and they have no. to replant the spike. Recon dart comes in, undercut is beautifully timed as well. And now it's just the doctor left alone on barely any HP. 
And while the last few rounds were rather close this time, it's a flawless one for Lays. Absolutely. I think they're, they're getting back on their feet here. Getting momentum as well. And RDA, they had the money, the credits in the last round to purchase the guns. This time around, I'm not too sure whether they have that to, to just play around with. But at the very least, Fixie does walk away here with the Twitter Force. Can utilize that instead of going for the full on purchase. The rest of them, though, Bladestorm is not available for Markel. So it's a bit of a situation where they need to recuperate. So timeout getting called out. Very much needed here. Blaze finally finding the groove. Hunter's Fury is available. Big stuff that they can keep it going. But if you've learned anything today, L, yes. is that swing rounds happen, streaks do happen, teams rely on momentum a lot, especially these two teams. So I don't want to count RDA just out just yet, right? Four rounds in a row, we've seen worse uh, streaks against RDA, especially on the previous map. Yep. So one good round here. Fixie has the Tota Force, uh, you know, multi-kill potential. You get a couple of kills steamrolling in. You give Mark L a weapon. You get Dr. Deagle or Sheriff. And, you know, you can get a very dangerous round. So Lace still need to play pretty careful. They got to respect RDA a lot. They've made their way into this top four for a good reason. Yeah. I'm not being called for what is... All coming in from the RDA side. Do we go for a purchase? Looks like Jensen is committing in. And yeah, they are just going to go full buy into this oh. round. Oper well, not operator. Tour de Force on Fixie. That's very interesting. Okay. I, I think this you could also be a detrimental moment for Lays because they might be thinking that they're going for a save out here. But instead, they are oh, full-on committing. Hunter Spirit is going to be utilized. Manages to find Thank Jensen. You. Oh, that's just one gun bought and wasted out of it. So the boss doesn't seem to connect as well. And Tams, he is now out of their hair. And with that, bought Look so at the much damage. And damage as well. Fix Fixie got tagged. Fixie got tagged. Subi got tagged. Jensen tagged twice. That is the Hunter's Fury that we all know and love from Lenny. The blind Hunter's Fury, but this time with the Recon Dart, assists him in getting so much damage. That is essentially almost 300 damage being dealt by himself without seeing a single player on the screen. Well, I guess if you count scans, <laughs> out of his, but still, huge opening gambit being done by, by Lays. And now RDA scratching their heads. They don't have the breach. They don't have that initiating power that they used to have. They have to be a little bit more reliant on contact plays. Yeah, and it's so much more difficult right now. You're tagged out. You did make the purchase here. So if it doesn't get converted into kills or anything that can generate your money in the next round, you essentially just purchasing for no for no reason, no left. avail. At the very least though, it seems as though A site is cleared out. They might be able to get the plan down. But at what cost, right? No peeking. Yeah, no great ultimates on the side of Lays. A disfree on Sube. He might be playing late. Oh, they're getting aggressive. RDA, they want to push the issue, but they've been spotted out. They're holding it for the time being. Fix oh. Jumping, beautifully done coming in from Lenny. And this three now just to flush out the defenders, make them run around a little bit. Mark L in this corner. Do they clear it? Oh, they don't! Up, and they don't turn around, but the shield saves Zen's life. It gives him a chance. And now Sube, the only man standing. And I thought Mark L did enough. Even though he only got one kill, the attention was all turned. But still, Lays only walk away with that single casualty. Yeah, Mark L. <sighs> Was the key player in that moment that managed to get one. If he had gone into, I think they'll still have a fighting chance. You know, just provide a bit of a distraction there. And with that oh, being the said... shield. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the shield is one thing, right? The other thing is that now RDA, after losing out that round, and the creds are not looking the best here, uh, at least they have to go for half shields, at the very least. And it's not looking to be one of the moments that they need. The one thing that's good, though, is that they do have the rolling creds that's coming in from... Losing out the rounds in time out time after again. Yeah, Jensen's one of his rolling thunder. Mark L has that rifle in his hands. Going for a fast garage push coming through. But there's so much cipher utility. The omen is here as well. Zan's watching garage. The read from Laze is not too bad. They have the option to reconsider. I think one thing to note as well is that, you know, since now Markel usually on the, the Sentinel or the support character here, 
Playing the duel is a bit different. They gotta get a synergy, right? Oh, and they're exploding onto site right now. Aftershot is going to be on Divine Sail, but he manages to get into safety. Subin Doctor making ways out of it. This could be the round. They need to play off of contact here. Subin manages to find Divine. Sorry, Doctor finds Divine here. Subin is also alive with him. Playing off that contact. Lenny all the way from A site has to crawl back. Good news, he has all the utilities. Bad news is he has to rely on the past comps. He does spot Asube. No cross created. And Doctor is the last man standing. Gets information about where Lenny is. Lenny, though, doesn't quite know where the Doctor may be. And that is round to RDA. They break off the streak. And this could be their moment of a return. Yeah, it was a little bit confusing to me how Lays weren't able to find those frags. A lot of... I mean, we didn't really see too many of them. But RDA... I mean, they're really sharp. All of these players are RDA. So clutch, despite them not having the best weapons. Give them a share to make it work. And despite the Cypher utility on the side itself, it didn't really get too much value. Yeah. Trade frags from RDA were just yeah. so on point. And they found themselves a 2v1. Really solid work coming in. Mark L now picks up the AWP. On the second side, of course. Ooh, temps. Uh, timing could not have been worse. That is that is a massive blunder by Temps. Going for that tap of the spike. Then though, gets spotted out by the operator. Shot will hit. Somehow, still has another shield. I oh, around the corner, they... Lenny. Oh, Lenny get caught out, and now is the time for them to accelerate into this side. Pixie just walking straight in, but it's a kill trip setup coming in from heaven. And they just spam Kenji out of the round. What a call, what a read. They know, they see that cage there, it's way too suspicious. And they just spam him in that little corner. Yeah, at this point, it seems as though they figured out the solution to Laser's yeah. aggression here. And of course, you know, purchase out to operators. It's worked before, it's gonna work again. And uh, with that, Sans gonna find Zubay though. Jansen with the return answer. Divine, last man standing, finds out one and anticipates the other end, but doesn't realize one more is in the depths of hell here. Five and four, RDA walking away with one operator and two members alive, keeping it rolling. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Like, RDA's timeouts have actually been pretty successful this series. Uh, back on bind, they took that timeout. They went for the aggressive play down short and Puka. This time, they take the tactical timeout. They crunch into the seaside from Garage. Heavy pressure. This time, they play a little bit slower. They catch Letty aggressive. And they were able to find out Kenji set up towards the A site. So, really well done from RDA so far. Good beats coming through. Good shots being hit. And again, Temps has swapped sides. This time, opting for that C-Long position. Him and Markel. As Markel step across this line, the sand! Temps will just rip his head right off. That is your entry duel is out of the round. Yeah, and that's going to be a huge one as well. Giving up so much more space for Lace to play around with. Knowing they're going to stall out a little bit more just because no more duelists, no more entry here. And if they have caught a win the last time this happened, mid seems to be the area of contention. And this is exactly what we're looking at here. I do love ops now. <laughs> Mark L and Fixie both with a double op. Doctor picks up the op after after Mark L dies. This is attacking side, guys. We are gonna we gotta entry into the side eventually. Yeah, this might be it. This might be a C push here. A fault line actually reaches to the back of side, but doesn't quite catch Divine. He's stuck away in this little corner. Oh my god, he got his combo with that Cyber King. He's gonna find Jensen, make that another. Subi is going down with him. And RDA, they don't exactly have any much space to play with. Spike is in the middle of nowhere, the corner of C side. They can't exactly retrieve it. And Doctor's the last man standing. He is getting pushed. They know where he is, but he oh, manages to find another him. two. He's alive. And unfortunately, that's all he's good for. Another two. Yeah, I think RDA cooked a little bit too much with the ops there. I understand if you get two at the... Like, okay, one is a little bit risky. Two is ambitious. And then the Doctor picks up the op for the execute. And it's like, uh, okay, that, that doesn't... 30 seconds yeah. left. Yeah, it's, a, it's an expensive gun, but you really want the rifle in that situation. 
So perhaps cooking a little bit too much on that attacking side with those operators, but now going to the tail end of this half, both teams, money not in the best situations, but Temp still opting for that operator. Suve only down to that stinger. Pixie with his head hunter in tow. Oh, oh into the B have... side we go! Fine, he gets absolutely blindsided. Zed, nice trade frag there, but Jensen's there to answer back with one as well. Lenny goes down without a single kill. And it's the B side pop that gets them the post plan situation. Now Temps, one of the worst weapons to retake B with. You know, Garage being watched by by the Doctor as well. Around the corner, catches up to Markel, but there's still one more at the back of the side towards Gong. Teleport in. Uh, Temps not able to get that shot done. Fixie knows exactly where he's got to be. <laughs> and Kenji just running for the hills, just opting for the save. One last round, the money's not in a fantastic situation, so... If you can save this rifle, it'll do dividends for them. Yeah, he's getting the the, the right idea here for RDA. Why destroyed? And there you go. They just got the the operator as well, and then keeping it up. They they switch it up a little bit. So well done, RDA's and Kenji though, trying to save up for that, knowing Chris is not in the abundance. And now we're actually getting closer and closer to equalizer here. Last and at this point, this is the last round before the swap, and we're gonna get a reset after that. So worst case scenario is that RDA walks away with 7 and 5. And Malay's going to take this moment to try to ensure that that happens within this timeline here. But RDA can try to equalize this, especially with having the three ultimates that they do. Hunter's Fairy is going to be huge here on both ends they have it. And we know what happens when you're on Lenny's end, right? You get the Hunter's Fairy end, mm -hmm. you get stalled out. It's going to be very, very difficult. Not to mention Zen with the kill contract got the, the spike plunder the last time. So they have to pay attention to it and use the ultimates in the best of their abilities in the right window frames. Yeah, a lot of really good alts for RDA. Pixie, if he gets two alt orbs, got that two of us as well. Let's see how they want to navigate this one. Up, still in the hands of Markel. He's still going to be picking that up on the attacking side. But the money on Lays is looking real awkward, right? Yeah. Temps can buy, Zan can't. You kind of want Zen to have a rifle uh, as your ISO player, so someone has got to give somewhere. Uh, rifle donated over, perhaps. Divide maybe opting for a bit of a reserve play. No, Zen's going to be buying that Stinger. Mm -hmm. Surely you give Zen the rifle, right? Okay, yeah. He's got to get yeah. given a rifle. Oh. All right. Thames is the one that's going to be taking up the Stinger. Okay. So with that, this is probably... The best option that they can go for at this point. After having that one save coming in from Kenji as well. You can take a look at the way that they're playing. It's, it's like so much respect coming in. They're not pushing out like they usually do. They're actually giving A entirely for free. If RDA catches this, they might just be able to get a plan straight off the bat. But they don't know just yet. I mean, I think Lays are just playing the retake situation on A with Hunter's 3 as well as the kill contract. So they're leaning more towards this B and C side. Lenny... Leading back over towards this A side, perhaps. Being super cautious in their spawn. Or in, yeah, in his spawn. Hunter's Fury in tow, he doesn't want to let it go down without any value. Last round, of course. And no contact. RDA, not seeing anything just yet. Op will ring out. So now they know Mark L is towards this C log position. Attempts on this other end of the door, though. So close to the Doctor, and that's, that could be a very valuable pick. If he does push out here, but it is between one layer of foundation, one concrete layer here. And here's the ultimate that's going to be utilized here. Markel straight up in. Doctor goes down. He gets revived back up. The Kenji Defiant. Look at that. The Hunter's Fury as well with the big stall. Lays on the face whatsoever. Each one of them is able to get one kill each. Talk about teamwork. Switching sides. What a read coming in from Lays. They. Realize that uh, RDA were just hoping to get opening picks, right? They were being really slow and methodical across the map. When the execute came in, Lenny's Hunter Suri was specifically targeted at the opponent Hunter Suri, Suve, all the way in C Cubby, manages to find that kill, jumping up as well to avoid um, Suve's ultimate. And we didn't get to see it, but Divine and the rest of the Lay squad were able to pick up the kills as they trinkled in towards that C site. So fantastic final round off the back of the timer by Lays. Now into the pistol. 
Pistol, Pistol. Not only is they are on the attack, because they do have a bit more of aggressive uh, agents to play with here. You know, you have the Yoru, you have the ISO. This could be it, towards their favor on the other end. Fixie could completely lock down one site. That's kind of what they're trying to do here. But instead of going for the aggression and fighting to hold the Fortress, they're going to recuperate, retreat, and play off of entries here. Zan's going to try to make more space, but unfortunately gets taken down. Oh, then he down. gets the timing with the lineup from Zube. The Sova Sova fight, and Fixie also wins out his battle. It seems as though whatever point the Lazy is trying to enter from, it's not working for them. Constellation Prize is just going to be one singular Jensen. Uh, attempts to teleport all the way back to spawn, so he's essentially kind of reset the round. I don't know that though. Gets spotted out. Nice kill onto Fixie, but he's taken way too much damage, right? I don't think he's gonna be able to get that spike down or even win that round. The teleport, the gate crash is kind of stuck towards that cubby, towards A long, so he can't teleport and get this plant towards A anyway. But yeah, it's kind of a rough situation he's found himself in. 30 seconds left. Best case scenario is that he can at least get the spike down, get those creds rolling. Yeah, at the very least. I think he might be able to do that, so that's going to be a consolation prize. If you can get the other three, that would be a miracle. Oh, and with that, gets shut down just immediately. Had the right idea, I believe, but uh, Sube is just uh, a bit on his toes here. You know, he's not going to let any opportunities to buy him. Now, are they? They managed to get they pistol go. around, and it could very easily equalize this by the second. Yeah, nice round coming in from RDA side. Uh, lasers execute right there was a little to be to be desired. They pushed into CT spawn. They wanted to take a hits up fight, but they lost out. I don't think there was enough players there to assist, and RDA were much more prepared for that push. The shock dart as well, and Sube just on the spike planter. And even if they did control of the site, right? Uh, Mark L actually found a gap. He would actually creep crept down mid, flag them from, from outside garage, the grass area. And she had no idea whatsoever. So a potential gap that he could exploit later on in the round, but it's gonna be a fast C take. Doctor is in a very committed angle, swings out wide, he gets spotted out. Oh, he wants to go in for even more. Testing plays, okay. He might just pay with his life, oh! but Jensen! Jumps out of the window smoke and he just takes down the entire lazy squad. Back's turn, no awareness of that push whatsoever. That's a clean second round now on the board. Yeah, clean second round. And now RDA, what was a little bit on the back foot that we saw at the very beginning, now equalized. And there we have it, Jensen jumping out of the smoke. Very aggressive move, but it did pay off his dividends here. Capitalized on that very window second that he had. And uh, helped out his teammate after getting the initial information for being overrun there. They lined up for him essentially. And in particular, RDA operator's been purchased out. Fixie has the op. But he's not going to be playing up in C, which is the majority of Lee's members currently. Mark L, though, he does have the outlaw. Unfortunately, Zan is the one that's making way. Doesn't quite Ooh. get another shield in time. And that's going to be Zan's life. Oh, that's a nice shot coming from Mark L. And on this defensive side, we've seen them work with multiple operators. Remember, L? I mean, they were the comp with like so many ops on this defensive side. <laughs> yep. And uh, you can see and it I mean, happening. If it works, it works. Yeah, if it works, it works. And uh, at the moment time though, for Lace, they're going to try to make this work in B site. They made their way in. They're going for a quick sneaky plan out. But the smoke can be pushed out and that's exactly what Subei is trying to do here. He manages to find Lenny. And the defuse is going to come in straight away. Seems as though whatever Lee tries to do, it's unable for them to make a breakthrough. RDA now picking up guns all the way. And now they're going to be walking away with one more point. And I think they're still going for hunting. You know, trying to get all the guns that they can. Yeah, eight. that's uh, that's a really nice round coming for RDA. Flawless. Didn't drop a single gun. Got that off in hand as well. Yeah, that's the bonus. Essentially given over to RDA. Low buy from Lays now has to be called for. They don't have money. It's 
getting a little bit out of hand right now. I mean, RDA is starting to run away with things. They, they're finding their groove. They've remembered how they've abused those operators on their defensive side. The Doctor, more than capable. Fixie and Markel picks that weapon up like it's... Sounds like it's a buffet. It's free food. It's free kills. I think the first time in forever we're seeing RD, not RD, Lays actually, Mickey straight up for change of pace up into a oh side. Oh my! Oh, Subi managed to shut down the, the shotgun coming in from Thames here. Finds another one. Though Zen is the one that's been taken down this time round. Plan is trying to come in. They're blocked off by the smokes. But RD, they're at the brink of the entrance points. They are ready. Subi with the light up. Going to find Kenji here with a shock dot. <laughs> yeah, Lenny has an op in hand. That is an awkward weapon for He's not known oh. for this weapon. <gasps> Doctor just blindsides him, obliterates him out of that corner. Markel, the final as well. An RDA, another clean round coming in from them. Pick up the op. They will just cycle it. They might even buy a second one now. Seems as though Let's they go. finally found the solution to Lays, and that is literally swap sides. Uh, go play the side that we're going to be playing, that we're more comfortable with, and that's going to be this. And like you said, they hurt you. Uh, another operator going to be purchased out here. This time we're going to be in the course, hands of uh, Mark L. I think we're getting a bit of a pause here, which I think is a good time to just reset a little bit, even for us, because of how long these games have been going to. And I, I feel as though for Lays, they're actually starting to feel a little bit of it, you know. It does come down to three games, right? You know, it's going to be fatigue. You got to try to fight for it. And at least for RDA, they do have an adrenaline meter. We know that time and time again. For Lays, though, they got to prove that they want to be here, considering that this is going to be an elimination round. Yeah, and again, we come down to the discussion of operators in Valorant. You need good utility to flush an op out of the ankle. Because if you put it in the hands of a jet, hands of a of a chamber, right, they'll get away scot free. And when you have double ops on the defensive side, I mean, you only really have the owl drone, you have the recon dart, you have Zan's shield, which essentially, yeah, it can be used to catch an op because they can't convert that kill. It's a one shot um, situation thing. Yeah, you get a shield, just absorb everything. So I don't know how they're gonna beat this, right? I don't know how they're gonna flush out these ops. It's not going to be easy, and Fixie and Markel are more than willing to re-pick it at the same angle like, time and time again. This time, Fixie's turn. It's being real aggressive. Jump Peak's got to spot him out. And that is how Jumps, oh, Jump Peak just that. to find out where he's coming from. Atsube's Hunter's Fury on a point. Beautiful trade frag. We'll take down that duelist of Zen. Lenny though, nice shot coming in. Not expecting Tsube on the same angle. Or at least on that deeper angle. Again, one for one. Oh, but look at where Kenji is. Kenji's made his way all the way up garage. It's gonna be a big fight right here. Markel, more oh. than aware. They don't need trips. They've got their spidey senses. Now it's just divine in terms. They're two versus three. RDA playing tucked in towards the back lines, giving them access to the site. They just want to go for a retake situation. Yeah, I think for Temp, he, he did oh. manage to get a, a comeback after operating this Time operator in the, the previous round, at least up in Bind, trying to make that left. happen once again. The spike does come down, and Arya is going to catch wind of this. We have two on the other end. We're going to play around the link area. On the flank, though, Decoy. it's going to be one more. It's going to be Mark Back L. Teleport. They do manage to take out the smokes, though. This could be huge for them because they still have Divine to play around with. Paranoia is still available as well. Markel. Yep. Smoke is still alive. There you go, Paranoia. But that's going to give an indication that Markel is in. And he's going to take down Divine within that corner. Tabs! Tabs! Actually, in the nick of time, within the right angle. Finds Markel holding the spike. Oh, that's ballsy coming from Markel to just stick the spike in the open up against Temps. I think he managed to get it to half, but he was still sticking it, you know, all the way. But Temps with the up in hand, he's top of the scoreboard, 17 and 11. You know, transitioning from the initiator role to a duelist role, picking up that up. He's made it work on, on Bind, and he's showing his prowess with it right now, and it's saving them. 
a lot, a lot of these situations because RDA, they themselves have an op and they're going to buy it yet again. Mark L up, you know, picks it up outside towards garage. And it's a push from RDA. Initial pressure. Recon dot together with a stun. Oh, G might not want to test Mark L again. What's his head? It's going to be a Take long a game. Time to jump. Lays actually made their way up onto A main here within the both entrance points. They do it's have flank you, watchers. Man. And here's the kill contract. Who does it pick up? It's going to be Sube here. Sube. Okay, Sube might be the point of contact that he really exactly. needed out here. So no more stall. The rest of his teammates can actually make it up on the site. But on the other end, they are getting oh, shot by shot here. It's a 2v1. Situation, Markel, the last man standing all the way in the back. The flank comes in, but he doesn't quite find Divine. A very scrappy round, but Lace nonetheless brings themselves back onto the board. There's at least two ops every single round. It doesn't matter on which side, but there's always an op somewhere. And what a round coming in from Lace right there. I mean, nice execute onto the site. They managed to swarm it and... The Doctor dropping down from heaven, I think a little bit prematurely. This kill right here from Zen just opens things up. Kenji taking initiative. Neurothev will review their position and the, right there, you see the Doctor drop down from heaven before um, Markel was in a good position, so there was no trade opportunity available. A great run coming in from Lace. But Markel now doesn't have the... Oh, but he has the knives. Rolling Thunder invested to watch A lobby. Jensen gonna be catching on to Zen. And that's... It. I mean, no trade frag available. The rest of the team pushed back far enough. Zen will go down without an answer. This time, I want to test out the sea site. Guess who's here on the top of the platform? Fixie. Spotted out. Has to drop back. And now in RDA, though, they all have guns and rappers to work around with. Spam? Fixie. He's going to find Divine. But this Fury. It's just shimmied away by oh. Pixie. Oh, with the movement, there's no one better than him. But Tem's all the way in the back with the dimensional drift is going to be caught off guard. And regardless of the smoke, it's going to be pushed last forward. Kenji, standing. last man standing, oh, turns camp. around oh. in the nick of time, finds one. Spy Camp's going to try to get some more information. The spike has not been planted. He has to try to do something. But on the other end, the Doctor just managed to see his feet at the very bottom of the smoke and close the gap between them both. 9 to 10, RDA with the point lead. What a brilliant, you know, mini aggression set play coming out towards the A lobby position. It was just essentially two players, right? It was just Jensen and Mark L rolling Thunder just to secure their kill to Zen. And that allowed them, you know, that whole A main lobby, that whole piece of map control in their remit. Right here. And the defense on towards that C set was sublime. Really nice trades coming in from, from uh, RDA. Sorry, Lays now down on the eco. He push Mark L. Oh. Ooh. He does manage to come up with his Gen life though, at the very least. Regardless of it, but Pixie and the rest are going to make quick work of them. And the fight is still continuing on. Oh. With the flashpoint, he manages to find two. But unable to find one more. Mark L does find. His perpetrator though, so 9 to 11 here. And RDA is making a lot out of the fact that Lays did not have a full buy round there. A nicely uh, it's, done. It's crazy how aggressive RDA are in some of these situations. Running straight in with a flash. I mean, to be fair, they are hitting all of their shots. They are feeling, you know, that flow state. Yep. 11 now on the ball for RDA. They win this one themselves up to 12 and it's, it might just be over because Lays would be down on a low buy. Yeah. So Lays, this round, super important for them. Yeah. Initial contact towards his A-shot position. Mark L creeping up. So is Fixie. Both extremities of the map. Operator on one side and a chamber on another. Lays really got the counter credits here. I think they actually understand that as well. So much respect is given towards RDA. It seems as though the only point that they can really push through is up in mid. Even that has been smoked up in case for a B push. And they send Sube towards the backside of B here. Might catch someone off guard. There's two points to look at. Pixie also going to get word of it. Might make the rotation. Sube is going to find Zan. 
doesn't quite get punished for it. He's still alive and moving around. Aftershock is going to be utilized, but look at how much time he's already bought through the links. It's going to be Jansen, it's going to wow. be Markel, and that's going to be picture perfect. Match point coming in for RDA. Their life in this tournament is still here. They are trying their very best to bring themselves to the lower bracket finals. What a fight. It's incredible to me. It doesn't make sense to me that this comp is winning rounds on Haven. But Lays, they're looking a little bit worse for where the attacking sides have not looked as good as they were on the previous map. I mean, it's only two rounds that they've managed to fight on this attacking half. And they've got to go on a three-round win streak just to push things into an overtime affair. If that's even got to be the case, RDA, these ops, so strong in the current meta. Not able to push them off. Subei finds his Hunter Sphere as well. That just might be it. I mean, so many great outs on the RDA side. Lays are just funneled in towards mid. A smoke comes through, a break of the trip. Subei uses Hunter Sphere. He doesn't connect to anyone just yet. Trying to find out where they've gone to. But as the spike goes down, yeah, only two shots fired. But Lays, they want to push things even further. They push into the garage position. Fixie's there, but he doesn't get a single shot off. Mark L, nice frag onto Zen. Oh, but Kenji spotted out the back of the side as well. Huge fight coming in. Paranoia comes through. But still in the three versus two. The teleport goes away. Divine, where could he have gone to? Not dead yet, being popped by the Doctor. Divine, oh. watching down. B made a huge frag coming in. Temps with the final frag as well. Lays finally come alive just when their team needs it. Everybody finding those shots. And it could have really gone south if any of them missed those. I mean, RDA was swarming and Divine with two incredible shots right there mm -hmm. just to shut down the Doctor. Yeah, if Lays. he lived, could be seeing a very different story. Absolutely. And uh, I think Lays understood that as well. Uh, wow. Just uh, beating them out, out of that 3v2. That really close call. But uh, one thing they did, I think they just turned the map a little bit diagonally here. Played a little bit of a unorthodox Plant situation, but realize that the Hunter series is available, it's in threat. And now, what is in oh. threat here? It's Fixie. Oh. Doesn't quite realize here. He's holding it down. You and He's me. holding down, but the kill contract oh. is coming on to him. He has no gun. No He's the gun. Oh no, Zen. Nice work. Caught the best fish out there in the sea. Yeah, that is potentially a counter that is. You know, just inbuilt in this composition, the ISO pick perfectly counters the chamber up. Both out, out for out, the ISO win it out every single time. I mean, unless he has something to do with the classic. <laughs> the doctor on the flank as well. Low oh. HP. Jensen gets spot out by Letty. Surely this is 11 on the board. We're going the distance yet again, L. We're going the distance. All 24 rounds required and potentially even more. Sube rounds the corner. And there we go. Round 24. Right up next. I mean, I, I can't be mad, Corden. If we go the distance, I really can't be mad. We, we at least got ourselves a really long third map here. We've seen the fighting space between Lace and RDA push and pull. And it really comes down to which team if it really comes down to which team can get the two points ahead of the other, I, I wouldn't be mad either. At this point though, Lays is looking great for them. They have Hunter's Fury available. They have the Neural Step available. Uh, even for Thames, if he actually gets a kill too and get an orb, he could potentially get a, a full-on Dimensional Drift that could really push them towards victory here. Yeah, but how did he do with the AWP on Mark L? It's down towards mid. This is so aggressive. Mark L is flanking them from the window oh! with an AWP! And he gets away! Scott free! No trade available. That is Zen out of the round. That is your entry man with the best ability to counter an AWP holding an angle. You gotta rely now on the utilities of the rest of the team. The Recon Dart, the Silver Drone. And even then, Temps expecting the peak! What a flick coming in from Temps just when they need him. That shot could not have been more pinpoint accurate. I cannot believe it. Yeah. A nice answer back. Now with that, are they down the last man that they usually have to hold in clutch? Zan's also down for the count and lay, so a bit difficult in terms of making a breakthrough. But 38 seconds left on the clock. Lays is the one that needs to do the attacking here. 
They're so cautious. One operator trying to scout no so idea. much more. From the shadows, Investor onto the side just to clear things out. He's not going to commit it, just to scout things. Smoke coming in from the heavens. Oh, and the Doctor finds a beautiful timing. Takes down Kenji. Hunt is really invested. They got to get the spike down. There's not much time left. We Condart comes in. Nine seconds left. Jens is in the side lane. He holds down the fort. Fixies into the side as well. Oh, Staring into the smoke. And it's just Divine left alone. This might be it. Laser's lifeline is out of the round. RDA have done it. All 24 rounds required, but it's 13 to 11 yet again. The comeback on Bind, and now the resurgence on Haven. They knock Lays out of the tournament, and they themselves push into the top three spot. Please, they're not going to look very happy here. But a good fight was put out. RDA, though. What a comeback. Lost out so much. And then what could be considered a landslide in the very beginning, you know, when we saw Lotus being played out, we what? thought RDA was not in the right mentality here. They were getting frustrated. They were making very hasty calls that were not